Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It is the evening of the inauguration day and we witnessed President Biden and Vice President uh, Harris being inaugurated today. It was nice to see. And uh, a few weeks back, um, I did uh, a reading, maybe it was a month ago, on uh, Donald Trump. He was, pres he was president of the time, of course. And so I like to do a supplementary reading using the same, might as well use the same spread, and to see how things are for him <clears throat> after his presidency has come to an end. I used a, um, a RWS-based uh, deck. I, I think it was uh, the RWS one, or clone. But this time I'm going to use the Toth Tarot. I like using this one. I usually use this for myself. I've been using it since the 80s. Not this particular deck. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll use it. And it's the same spread I did before. I know that some people um, find the, uh, the 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 Crowley deck and the RWS as two different systems. I don't I don't view view it that way at all. Um, there are some changes that have been made and tweaks, you know, especially in the court card attribution and. Uh, and also the astrological and uh, of a few cards, but other than that, it's the same system. It's not, it's not uh, uh, difficult to make a switch if you are already doing the RWS system. What I did when I was originally uh, learning this deck way back in the <clears throat> well, and when I was learning tarot, I guess way back when in the eighties or nineties or whatever, but I learned the esoteric titles to the to the pip cards, not the aces, so the 36 pip cards. The, each pip card does a, a decan in the year, so, you know, it's 36 decans in the year. So I, 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 I memorized the various um, esoteric titles to all those cards, and it's fairly easy to do. And uh, And then you see how how there's correlation with many of them and you see how you know between uh, the the toth deck and the the deck drawn by um pamela smith you know if you were to say for example think about the seven of wands which shows the scene of someone on a on a hill you know defending himself or whatever um well uh the esoteric title of that of that card is Lord of Valor. So you can see if someone said, okay, now that, that card, um, it stands, it's Valor. So depict Valor. So that's what she would have depicted. And that does look like someone being brave. But then we add other things to it uh, over the years, which is totally okay and become part of the associations with the cards. So anyway, let's get back. I gotta focus. Um, okay, this is on uh, former President uh, Donald Trump. And I'll follow the same spread I did that previous one. I think I can remember it I'll take the bottom card off. Just... 
put it aside. All right, so first card down represents Donald, uh, former President uh, Donald Trump. Now, uh, this card represents the material world around him. That's is the Earth. I'm going to lay out the el el sort of an elemental um, pattern. This is the fire, or his energy, drive, creativity, sexual energy, all of that. Okay, so that's uh, uh, fire. Now I'm going to put air over here, and that's the mind. And then we have water. Move them up just a little bit. I think that's pretty good. And let's take the three cards again. And we'll just see. This is what's coming. This is the card. Well, sort of what, 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 what you attract from the universe sort of thing. All righty. So this is now. This is former vice, former president Donald Trump. And we have here. This is an interesting card, isn't it? Because it's, 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 Crowley had, now I, I have a, you know, I don't have any of the borders on or titles or anything, but um, the, this is the Four of Swords, and uh, the title on, uh, on Crowley's deck is Truce. Now, the esoteric title to this card is Lord of Rest from Strife. Now, now think about it. You know, in the RWS has the figure lying prone with the you know in, the, in a tur in a church like sanctuary, rest from strife. And that sounds right, but the thing is, it is temporary. That's why he calls it truce. Truce doesn't mean the end of the war. It means this is, this is sort of a the calm before the storm. So he, I think he's probably wherever he he's, wherever he is, he's probably thinking just like in that airplane you movie. It's quiet, yes, too quiet. <laughs> it's that, it's that, it's that energy. It's that lull. Yeah. So this is, and it's, and and you know the the card following this is the card of strife five. Of no, but the card, sorry, the card of defeat is the is the following card, hmm. and uh, this is uh, associated with Libra. Now, I could never. One thing I don't do, I I, I I've never, because there's no rhyme or reason sometimes. But it's easy enough to figure out what the astrological. See, it's Libra. What that is for each card. But that is, uh, you know, so this is a Mar this is a Jupiter, in uh, in uh, Libra. But Libra is about justice too, right? Getting the truth. So there's a underlying justice to the to that card too. So it's the calm between. It's it's the calm before the storm. I think the calm before the os onslaught. So this is the Earth. Oh. In Earth here, we we have um, the moon. Now, I like to look at the elemental digni dignities first, and well, not not always first, but um, here we have a card that is associated with Pisces. So it's a watery card, right? It's water card, and we have it in the Earth position, so it's very friendly here. Um, so. This card, the moon, in Crowley's deck sh shows more of the negative aspects of the moon. The little bit of fear is here in this card. Um, although there's fear, I guess, in the RWS one, and I guess those those um, wild dogs, the I mean the uh, the wolf and the dog could bite you. And uh, but this is fear, and this is delusion, and uh, 
and you know all and he got the moon i think uh in a previous card up in that section beforehand so within his i i think his he's not feeling very physically secure you know money brings security and all of that and i th i think he's he's uh, becoming uh well he's not he's not uh I don't think this is very, you know, having this fear in uh, in your uh, material world. All right, so let's look at. We have the Knight of Wands, so that's in his fire. He has a very fiery card. So I don't know whether he's. Uh, um, and it and it's not incompatible, of course, with the central card, which is air. So we have a we have a uh, uh, a fire, a fire, and um, so it's a very it's a very uh, um, it's associated with Sagittarius. This card, although I know Trump is. Uh, uh, Gemini, but he's late Gemini, and in tarot, uh, his the 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 decan of time that he was born is better covered by the Queen of Cups, Cancer. So there's a lot of stirring up of energy. So, you know, I, he has his energy. So in that house of his energy, he does have an energy. You know, maybe he is, this is uh, right now, maybe, because so, I think sometimes he gets his dander up, and that really does, does empower him. But that's a very active, fiery card. And this card over here will do, uh, this is his mind. So, we have... Uh, water in his mind card, so a watery card. And this card, again, I, be I believe he got a similar, I know he got, I'm sure, I, I should have looked at the video. I thought he had the, uh, um, the hangman. But the hangman is about giving up. It is also about redemption. No, acts of redemption. So I don't know whether he's considering that acts of redemption, but again, the, I think we had the similar card in a similar spot last time. I'm, I'm not positive on that though. So that's an interesting card, and that's you know that's associated with the element of water. Mem in the Hebrew alphabet, one of the mother letters is water, and that's. What that is, mem, and water. So it's a very watery card. It's so you know water energy, so emotional stuff. It's a, 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 I don't want to say atonement, but it's redemption, a, a, a redemptive quality to that. So whether he's thinking about things he could do to redeem his, his, um, uh, his image, his public image, which has really got, you know, tanked. I guess to be kind. And so we, whether he has thoughts of somehow, and that's emboldening him, thoughts of uh, re, you know, re redeeming his public image in his mind. That sounds good. And here we in the uh, in the in his watery or his emotional house, we have love here. Wow. So that's that's not ill dignified. And this is uh, uh, a card you know associated with the sign of Cancer. Now this is Lord of Love. That's self-evident, isn't it? The Two of Cups. So, so he has around him. At least he thinks he does. Well, no, no, no. This is not what he thinks. This is what it is. So, uh, there is uh, support, emotional support, just like the last time there was the. I remember this. There was the Queen of Cups there, uh, and now we have the Two of Cups. So he has. He has this, at least the support that he needs, you know, uh, uh, emotional support. Uh, maybe he, he feels he's getting a lot of people, you know, commiserating with him. 
right, so let's have a look at, I have to do a little bit of a reach. Again, let's have a look. So we have, we have two majors and a course. All right, that's sort of what I expect. We have, okay, well, let's just look at them all and then I'll just bring them forward. Oops, doesn't look like very good for Mr. Trump. So we have here the um, the Five of Cups, which Crowley labeled uh, Disappointment. And the esoteric title to that card is Lord of Loss and Pl Loss of Pleasure. Loss and Pleasure. Five of Cups. And to lose pleasure in things, in is uh, that's a very... That's a very low thing, you know. It's not just, you know, on the surface, but to actually lose you uh, uh, lose that type of uh, feeling. It's it's similar to the previous card, which is the four of cups. Uh, you know, that's 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 table uh, labeled luxury or uh, and uh, but it's um, it's Lord of Blended Pleasure that one, but. So here we have disappointment here. And then we have a change of fortune for Mr. Trump. Yielding to, so we have, okay, this is a water card. Now this is Jupiter. And it's one of those cards that can have either an air or a water association. But I always thought it was, or is air and fire, one of them. But I usually associate that with with a fire, fire. Um, and then we have the uh, the Lord of Shortened Force or interference. And to me, that's like a gate. You know, it's a barrier. It's a block, right? And. Uh, you know the eight of uh, the eight of uh, eight, the eight of swords in the Coleman Smith. It shows the individual surrounded by the swords in cage. So this very disappointing change of uh, of of uh, of life, really, because that's the big change in his reality, and it's going to end up with restriction. So that does look like bars, doesn't it? All right, so, and then look, uh, I'll look at this last card, and, uh, oh, I got a card stuck to my skin over here, uh, and uh, we'll have a look at this, uh, the last card, and we have here, which is an odd one to have here, I think, it's satiety, but it's the Lord of Perfected Happiness. So, I don't know, I, I don't know whether this is, you know, what comment that this card makes on, because this doesn't look so happy. So what it makes on, on the, on the, uh, on, on the spread, but perhaps it is a bigger commentary, you know, that, um, because there's pleasure in, within the cup cards, so, and, uh, and, uh, Le and uh, leading uh, perhaps hedonistic um, lives, like uh, in the uh, in the seven of uh, in the seven of cups, but this is the ten, the Lord of Perfected Happiness. So that's an interesting. So maybe maybe this is saying the universe is <laughs> that all is well, all is well, that the balance has been restored. But I'll be thinking about this for a while. And as with all tens, you know, you know that uh, it they're they're associated with their their mutable mutable sign. So the mutable sign of of, of water is uh, Pisces. So this card is also associated with Pisces, and it should say somewhere. And I can't see it. I'm looking through the camera. I gotta look. Oh, and it should be on there anyway, somewhere. Oh, there it is on this cup right there. 
Huh. Isn't that it? Yeah, it looks like it. Where's it down there? Oh, there it is. It's on this cup. That's more of a, you can see a little bar going across as well. Anyway, so so there's that's my reading on Donald Trump. So it looks like what's coming down the pike is, uh, you know, just what's happening now to him is just the, just the calm before the storm. This is the truce card, but like I said, it's a, it's te it's a, it's always temporary, and uh, and it's uh, and uh, these things are common. So I wish him uh, whatever. Well, I wish whatever you know, whatever is to be done to be done. So anyway, so enjoy the, the rest of your day, and thank you very much for watching.